and now it's quite coincidental that our first Notre Dame Day story is a story I first told on NBC News back in 2001 and then again in 2003. It's a story about a young couple named John and Eileen Crowley and their fight to save two of their children from a rare disease called Pompeii. Here's a clip from the 2003 story. Born without the enzyme that breaks down sugar, their muscles are clogged with glycogen, a form of sugar. Over time, weakening those muscles, making it impossible for the children to walk or even breathe on their own. Now, fast forward seven years, this same story is told by Hollywood actors Brendan Fraser and Carrie Russell, who played the role of John and Eileen Crowley and Harrison Ford, who plays the researcher, in a film called Extraordinary Measures. Here's a clip from the movie's trailer. It's hard. That's the real threat to their lives. How much more time do we have? Megan, maybe a year. Patrick, less. I wish that we had a drug to treat Pompeii, but we simply don't. I'm sorry. Dr. Stonehill. Yeah. This is John Crowley. All the researchers out there say that you're a genius on the verge of a scientific breakthrough. I'm not on the verge of anything. How much would it take to prove your theory? The odds against you are crushing. So where does that leave your kids when the dad has no job and no health insurance? You're right. This is crazy. But I can't just sit around and wait for my kids to die. I promised them that we'd raise 500. That's all? 1,000. Is it 500 or 1,000? 500,000. And here with me now are John and Eileen Crowley. And I have to say, you know, I get to interview all kinds of people in all walks of life, but I don't think I've ever met two more remarkable, dedicated people in my life than the two of you, because what you have done for your children is absolutely extraordinary. And to think here we are 15 years later, <laughs> <laughs> we're back together Life again. Comes full circle, it does, yes, it indeed. Does. So first of all, welcome to Notre Dame Day. It is, it is yeah, great to have sure. you here. So let's tell people about your story. We, first of all, John, let's start, start with your connection to Notre Dame. Yeah. Did you go to undergrad here? I am a 1992 graduate Anne of the law school. In fact, ah, Eileen and I were married between our first and second year of law school. Uh -huh. And so you discovered at some point your two youngest children had this disease called Pompeii disease. And for people who may not know it's an orphan disease, there aren't a lot of people who have this, right? It's like about a thousand numbers are really it's small. More than that, actually, as we really? continue to learn more about it, it's at least five to 10,000 people live oh with Pompeii. It's a rare neuromuscular disorder. Mm -hmm. And Eileen, take me back to the moment where the doctor told you that your children had this disease. Right, yeah, Megan was uh, 15 months old and our son Patrick, that also has the disease, was six days old. And it was just, it was devastating. It was yeah. absolutely devastating. And what were the signs that you noticed that suggested something was wrong with Megan? Yeah, you know, Megan wasn't reaching milestones and wasn't, didn't have a lot of strength. Mm -hmm. And so we started doing some testing to, to figure out what was going on. And like we said, it was really difficult to get her diagnosis you know, six days after we had just had another baby. Oh. And John, where yeah. were you in your career at this point and no. what did you do? So we were only a couple of years out of law school, Anne, and just starting out in life and had three young kids and all of a sudden two of them were diagnosed with this rare neuromuscular disease. And, you know, like Eileen said, we were told it was rare, it was fatal, and Megan wouldn't live to be but a couple of years old. So I, I think very quickly we moved from the... the the grief, the sadness, and eventually very quickly settling on determination. And you quit your job to find an answer. I did. By that did. point, I was working in, in, <laughs> uh, in business and left. I went out and found researchers and people who were working on the disease, and they were frustrated that companies weren't picking up the research. So we partnered with them at, at 31 years old or so, helped to start a little biotech company that would be devoted to developing a therapy to save Megan and Patrick's lives and ultimately the lives of others. And eventually you, f you developed an enzyme replacement so, so they, their muscles could proce help process the sugar. That's right. And right. both Megan and Patrick have had it. How have they done with this? They've done great. They're, um, they're doing very, very well. And um, there's still a lot of weakness, but they're doing terrific. We and how happier. well is Megan doing? Megan's doing very well. <laughs> doing so, so well. <laughs> yes, so Megan is a freshman this year at Notre Dame. That's which is remarkable. Phenomenal. 
that, and that. we you know we we didn't think that they would live to see their fifth birthday. And Megan's a freshman in college now. And how's she doing academically? She is doing terrific. <laughs> she had you know I think like many freshmen getting into the groove first yeah. semester. And this yeah. semester, going into finals, so check back in 10 days, but She's going into great. finals, she has a 3.5. <laughs> so we're very proud great. of Megan. Oh my yeah. gosh, it's yeah. tremendous. They, they, we were gonna say that she hit it out of the park and I guess she told you she felt it wasn't yes. really a home run, <laughs> but a solid double. She said yes. she had a solid double first semester, but a home run this semester. Let's see some yeah. pictures of Megan, because I think yeah, she's she's doing you, know, you awesome. already, we already did show the pictures. There we are, there's yeah. Eileen and Megan. And it's just, yeah. it is just a treat. Do you think it would be possible for her to go to school anywhere but Notre Dame? I, Notre Dame has been phenomenal um, in helping us to support her needs and to make her feel part of the community. And once Megan uh, was accepted and got in, there was not, there was nothing that they wouldn't do to help us. And because it, it's very, it was a difficult move for us to send Megan here with nursing and, and um, the medical supplies and things that she needed. And Notre Dame has done an unbelievable job in helping us transition her into this. Well, we're so glad that Megan is here and the two of you are absolutely the epitome of the spirit of Notre Dame. Congratulations.